Learn English with a fra. Family life, never give up. Lisa. Oh, my God. That exam was really difficult, wasn't it? Difficult? It was the worst exam ever. How could the teacher do this to us? Oh, come on. I know it was difficult, but we will have another opportunity. Another opportunity? No, it was the final exam. I'm so angry. I hate it. Relax. It's not the end of the world. We will find a solution. I'm sure. I don't think so. And why are you so happy? Don't tell me you answered all the questions. No, of course not. I could answer only five questions. They were too difficult for me. Yeah, I couldn't answer any questions. I don't know what I'm going to do. I suppose we will have to take the course again. But this time, we have to study with another teacher. I don't know. Maybe the problem is not the teacher. What if we didn't study enough? Are you kidding? I would believe that about me because I only studied one night for the exam. But you had studied for three nights. You were fully prepared for this exam. Yeah, you're right. I had to get some extra books from the library for this exam. Exactly. And you always get good grades on the exams. That's not common. I think it is the teacher's fault. I propose that we complain to the academic coordination. That's not going to work. Many students do that and they never get anything from it. But we have to do something. Oh, what the hell? It's useless. No, we're going to talk to the teacher. He will give us another opportunity. Why are you so sure about it? And why are you so happy? I don't get it. You're always positive. You're always smiling, as if you don't have any problem. Why? I need you to explain it to me. Why are you always happy? No matter what. What's the other option? What if I get angry? What if I cry or feel bad for my problems? What do you get from it? I don't know. But it is normal to be angry in this kind of situations. In fact, you should be angrier than me. You have a scholarship. If you fail an exam. I will lose my scholarship. I know that perfectly. That's why I can't get angry or sad. I need to find a solution. Everything is going to be fine. Lisa, don't worry. No, I still don't get it. You have more to lose than me. Your parents are poor. At least, my parents have money and they can pay for the course again. But you... I know. I know my parents don't have much money. That's okay. 
No, that's not okay. Your father is a carpenter. He works really hard every day. But no matter how hard he works, he never earns enough money. That's the thing. Yes, I know my father is a carpenter. I know he doesn't make good money. But he likes his job. He feels passion for it. And he does an excellent job. I know. But he can't pay for this school. It is too expensive. Yeah, maybe. That's why I have to study hard to get a scholarship. You said that. Yeah, okay. But what about your mom? She also works hard every day. She sells fruits in the market. She has to wake up up very early every day. At four in the morning. That's true. She wakes up at that time because she has to go to the central market. There, she buys the fruits to sell. She goes early because at that time, the prices are cheaper. Sometimes I go with her. I mean, I help her, but only when I don't have important exams. We go there, buy the fruits, I help her carry the boxes, and then we go to the market where she works. After that, I have to go home to take a shower, and then I come here to study. What? Don't you have breakfast? That's too much work work for a child. No, that's fine. And of course I have breakfast every day. My mom usually prepares a delicious fruit juice. I also eat a sandwich. It's a good breakfast. Yeah, okay. But your sister, isn't she sick? You told me that. Yes, it's true. The doctors say she has a rare disease. But it has a treatment. Yes, you told me that last time. But I remember you also told me that treatment is expensive. In fact, you told me it is really expensive treatment. You need $8,000. Well, we don't have that money now. But I will have it when I graduate. Yeah, you told me you want to be a great doctor and cure her disease. I get it, but... No, I don't get it. This is exactly what I'm talking about. You see? No, I don't see it. What do you mean? Sorry. I really don't get it. Your father works hard every day, but he's poor. Your mom works hard every day all day too. But still your family is poor. Your sister is sick. She has a rare and very difficult to cure disease. I mean, you will become a doctor and cure your sister's disease. And you'll help your parents. But that will only happen if you graduate. It means it will only happen if you pass this exam. But you don't look worried. Instead, you are quiet. I really don't understand. Exactly. That's exactly why I'm quiet. 
I can't fail, Lisa. I just can't. I can't get angry. I can't cry. I can't complain. I just can't. Oh, okay. Yes, now I get it. I'm sorry, God. You're right. Don't worry. We will talk to Michelle and she will give us another chance. Everything will be fine. You will pass that exam. You are the best student in the school. I know. You see? Everything is going to be fine. It has to be. I hope you liked this conversation if you could improve your English a little more. Please subscribe to the channel and share this video with a friend.